Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today we're going to be doing a maxing of another legendary commander for you all. Takeda Shinjen is going to be my next fully maxed legendary commander. I know that I was said I was going to be saving up for Guan and I am still doing that. However, I think I've got enough time to save up enough sculptures if I buy out the VIP shop every week uh, and do all the events and you know win what I can win and that kind of thing and all the events coming up in the next couple months. I personally won't get the third final wheel of Guan more than likely until a few weeks after KVK is over. So with having the wheel spins going for Guan and then also saving up about, I'm calculating I need about 350 to 375 universal sculptures to max them out after I fully spin the Guan wheels every um, every two weeks or so whenever they come out. So I want to make sure that I have enough for that. But Takeda is going to be an absolute beast on the open field with my full cav marches along with my full uh, infantry marches. Takeda will be very solid. This fiercest fire skill debuffs every target I swarm and it's going to be a, a big damage boost to both my full cab and my full infantry. So I want to max him, him and I'm going to pair him with Saladin on both times. So I'm going to have Saladin Takeda for my full cab army and I'm also going to have Saladin Takeda, oddly enough, for my full infantry army. Of course, the Saladin Takeda army will also be cav. But again, this is going to be a universal type commander for what I use him for with how I swarm and how I um, fight on the battlefield. So I wanted to go ahead and max him out. I've already seen very, very good results from 5551. I've been telling you guys for a few weeks now that he is effective at 5551, and he is. He absolutely is. However, if you want to go ahead and use him the most, <laughs> this expertise dealing an additional 30% attack damage to enemies who have been debuffed, and then also this little bit of extra tankiness that we um, get from the fourth skill with the skill damage taken reduction and the 10% chance to reduce normal and counterattack damage by 25% each. Pairing him up with Saladin, Saladin Takeda is going to be absolutely nutso, crazy, tanky. And I'm going to show you after I max him because it's not going to take too long to max him. Otherwise, it'll be about a three minute video and this will be all over. So I wanted to show you um, how I use him as well. And really, um, I'm going to show you again some barbs, but maybe there'll be some folks that, from K96 that want to pop out and do a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I've been um, playing fun and sharing our culture with them all day, and I've gotten a few um, messages from all of them. They seem like really nice people. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and max him, and I've got 350 saved up, which will be enough, and then some to go ahead and max Takeda out. So there's one skill. I've been saving these for a few months, guys. Sorry to see them go, but I can use Takeda right now, and I think I will have enough to go ahead and max him. Um, why isn't that working? Exchange. Oh, I already did it. <laughs> Sorry, talking and doing things at the same time, not exactly the best. All right, so I'm going to have 40 sculptures left over, which is fine. I've got 20 more to buy from the shop here in just a moment. But this is going to be 5 of 5 here. And then now we're going to go ahead and max this puppy. He is an absolute beast on the battlefield. And to be honest with you, um, I did some testing, obviously, 5551. Five, five, and I know those events that are out there for the barb killing event. Takeda has a really nice heal uh, that ticks every second for four seconds whenever, um, whenever you contain only cav units for the second piece. But then uh, for four seconds after using Fierce of Fire, Fierce's Fire which is your primary skill, um, heals a portion of slightly wounded units, basically up to a thousand healing factor. And that's roughly two to 400 less than Richard. So it's not bad at all. When you pair him up with um, Saladin, he's kind of like an anti-skill Richard Charles combo almost, but you're fast and you've got Cav <laughs> and you have a nuke. So really neat stuff. Even like a Richard Alex is a good comparison with the heal and the nuke and everything. So this is really good. I think this is going to be a really good combination on the field. And this may actually be a really good combo for Sunset Canyon as well. Let's go ahead and hop out. He is fully maxed now. He's got that nice gold glowy. I've got my armies just sitting out here. Um, I wasn't even paying attention for the last hour or so. 
So uh, I guess they didn't decide they didn't want to come on out. So let's go ahead and bring everybody back in. And then I'm going to kill some stuff and show you what I mean. And I think the normal typical um, events that have you stay out on the battlefield as long as possible. Um, killing barbs one after the other after the other for days at a time so you can rack up as many points as you can in one sitting. There's always a Richard involved, um, and usually there's an Ethelfled or a Lohar as well, or it's Lohar Ethelfled. All those combinations, I've done the testing on them, and this Saladin Takeda combo actually, I think, outperforms it because of the heal and the tankiness of this combo. You might actually want to think about using Saladin Takeda. And I could also say there's actually a different build on the Saladin that would make this more effective. Than the one I'm using now. The one I have on right now is more for the battlefield. Uh, whereas there is another build that I've got, and that's on my Discord if you guys want to go check it out. Um, that is more tanky because it gives more skill damage reduction and it gives more enhancements to heal. So this one right here is going to be just a normal. And of course, you would use for that type of event, you would use a 50% because you want to stay out as long as possible. Um, I'm looking, yeah, there's a 30 over here. Let's do it on the 30 just to give you really a um, worst case scenario, I guess, because when you're doing those events, usually you're going to be doing the maximum of 25 Barbarian, but really neat. And if you haven't seen the, um, the skill uh, animation for Takeda, this will be another way for you to take a peek at it. So Salad on Takeda, here we go. Let's go ahead and pop it. And again, like look at the damage that I'm taking. It's a very, very small amount. And once I cast this uh, Fierce's Fire skill, the healing is going to start pouring on. You can see it already starting to tick there. It goes tick, 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 tick. And then once the skills are rolling, it starts ticking like crazy. It's just nonstop ticking of health. And as you can see, I'm not budging at all. Barbarian down. And just like that. So 49 severely wounded, which is not much at all. And... Slightly wounded 2617, but healed 2526. So I think with a fully maxed out 310,000 uh, army, that should be right around equal. And again, I mean, the amount of damage I took was very minimal, took out that barbarian very quickly. The same thing happens on the battlefield. I used this against an infantry army and absolutely shredded it. So Really good combination. I think this is a really good setup that I would use and I will use as my pairings. I think that at the end of the day, using this as a complementary debuff slash buff slash tanky army, uh, it kind of gives you the flexibility of having an infantry style uh, army in a full cav group, which is what I'm going to be using him for there. And then when you're using my full infantry army setups that I've given you guys, and I'm going to do some more updates videos on those too, um, you can actually run this with the full infantry army because of the debuffs that you give to the normal and counterattack damages of infantry. It doesn't matter that this is a cav group. You just need to make sure that you don't let this army go too crazy and go too far ahead. Um, that's the only thing you really have to manage. Otherwise, you can basically use this group as a fast infantry group. Um, which is how I'm going to be using it. And I think you guys would really enjoy using it that way too because really, it, this is a solid combo, guys. I'm really excited about how this is going to be working. Genghis Takeda is also a really good option just because of the reduced rage regen or the reduced rage cost that Genghis has. Uh, and that was a smaller one. Let's take a look at that one. So we didn't get that second heal off, so we didn't have the same equal amount of... Um, of heal to slightly wounded, but you can see the severely wounded is a lot lower. So if we were to go to a bigger army again, I think that we would actually, at the end of the day, give give those slightly wounded back and put them back in our army. I think this is a really good combo. Like as, as you can see there, I've killed two barbs and I'm only down about 500 total units. And when you've got an army of 310,000 at your disposal, when you're doing it nice and proper, um, I could really see that this, this thing could last a long, long time. Let me kill one more before I go ahead and wrap the video up, just so you guys can see. And um, I guess while I'm killing this last one, we've got Zone 5 passes coming up in the next few days. Um, we are going to be streaming that live. I'm going to try and put a delay in there so that what you're seeing 
is a little bit behind, so I'm not giving away anything as far as battle strategy or real-time combat stuff. Uh, if I can't get that done, I think I can, but if I can't get that done, then I'll likely record or I will likely, um, yeah, just record that stuff and then go live whenever it's a lull time, which I don't see very much of that happening. Uh, as you can see, again, we overhealed on that one. So 27, 6, 26 heal and 2274 slightly wounded. So we got all those back. Now we're back up to just under or just having 146 units down. So really, really good. I, I mean, this is a good combo, guys. If you have Saladin and now Takeda maxed out, this is a really, really good combo to use uh, on the battlefield. PvE, PvP, doesn't matter. Uh, this is a good solo army. This is good as part of a group. I really like this. That's why I went ahead and bit the bullet and maxed him out for you guys so you can see him. And you'll be seeing a heavy dose of him in the coming weeks as Zone 5 comes and, and gets unlocked. And Kingdom 225 is going to be unleashed to the rest of the zones. And we're going to see how all that plays out. We've got a good solid strategy in place. And we're going to showcase for uh, that for you guys here on this channel. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.